Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am very, very excited to tell you that I am now a certified contemporary dancer. It has been an eight month long journey. I started off in February and I got certified in October and here I am sharing about why contemporary dance training changed my life. Let me give you a little backstory as to why I joined these classes. Uh, the last time I was professionally trained was when I was in sixth or seventh grade which was when I was 12 or 13 years old and post that I never went to like an extensive training program. Um, I just you know would go to workshops or like just dance on Bollywood songs and perform on stage. January came and I was super cranky by then because I hadn't gone out of home. I was yelling at my family all the time. I was staying in my room cooped up. Uh, there were a lot of reasons why uh, that was happening but I couldn't find a way out uh, and then my mom came into my room one day I had an outburst and I went into my room and then she came in and she's like what is up with you are you not happy with living at home and uh, she said but things are opening up I mean it's February the restrictions have gone down go for a walk you know go eat by yourself go find if there are some dance classes you can go to go to some fitness center if you have to and uh, the dance class kind of stuck with me. I listened to her, uh, the wonderful woman that she is. One of my school friends going to this place called Flux in Indranagar. And I thought, okay, maybe I'll just, you know, research about it. So I went in there, I looked at the place. I spoke to the people. They were offering classes six days a week, two hours each day. Tuesday to Friday would be 7 a.m. to 9 a.m and I was waking up really late past year and I thought you know this would at least help me get out of bed early because I've paid for something and I'm gonna go and attend it. I took it up. Initially of course it's a little like scary because I couldn't move that way. Just accept the fact that to be good at something you have to start bad and I was bad. I was terrible. I could not move. There was no flow in me. Uh, but I went with it. It was also at a time where I did not know if my college was going to reopen because if it did, I still had another semester to go and if it did, I'd have to go back to Pune. I'm going to be depositing this whole amount and I might not even be here to attend it. Um, you know how they say, if you really like, if you really want to do something, everything in life will align itself so that you can do it. Now, I would like to take a few minutes to just talk about all the teachers that we had and everything that they taught us. I will start with Anshu. Anshu, phenomenal. I mean, her energy is impeccable and we know that every time it was her class, we would have to pull up our socks because, you know, the amount of stamina that she has, it's almost unmatchable. Uh, we would do a lot of high intensity with her. Oh my God, the most challenging but the most fun class used to be Anshu's. And then there was Ismail. Ismail was our movement teacher. He also specialized in animal flow and actually all forms of movement. Ismail's classes had a different range. It was not dance specifically, but it was, you know, using those little tiny muscles in your body that you don't usually use, training them. Uh, a lot of it consisted of animal flow, so a lot of upper body uh, strength and release. Usually when you're dancing and moving for two hours every day, uh, it tends to obviously make your muscles really sore. A lot of lactic acid forms in and you have to release your muscles and he taught us exactly how. Yes, like you just lay on it and roll on your back with it. You can use it for your hamstrings, for your thighs, calves, upper back. It's everything. And then there was Sham sir. He is wonderful. He is so patient. His choreographies are so interesting. Uh, he obviously 
is great is a great contemporary dancer but he would also add in a lot of jazz in his contemporary and then there was yashu yashu's dance style was something that i could capture very easily uh, she's a great mover she is so good she's so much fun we've learned some crazy drills and moves because of her and finally we come to sahiba Sahiba Singh is the owner of Flux and also an instructor in Flux and after 3 to 4 months of extensive drill training we finally go into production Now production is something that consists of dance theater all the training that we've done in the past few months comes together and we not only learn certain choreography which tells a certain story but we also learn theater and that's when i personally really got to know sahiba because we would spend extensive hours together and she is phenomenal she is brilliant at what she does i love i love how creative she is with the way she thinks there is a long list of compliments if i have to start but i am not going to get into that I'm going to tell you our production technique so it started off as character building character building is extremely essential all of us had to remove uh, our personal selves and bring in a character that we think we can play so one thing about production is that it is not fixed it's not a script it was something that had to come from within each one of us it was a story a scenario everything that had to be made based on how we are as people and to build our characters we had to think of names we had to think of what the character does we had to draw inspirations from all the shows that we watched all the movies that we think we can place you know extract something out of um, we had to dress up as our character how our character would dress in the 90s we had a lot of people one of them was a traveler one of them was a barista one of them was a waitress one of them was a bartender one of them was the owner of the bar his name was the man <laughs> munish did not want to name himself so he named himself the man and that's what we called him for the rest of the production there would be days that we'd spend 2 hours in the morning 2 hours in the evening there have been days where we've spent time from 10 in the morning till 8 in the evening uh weekends because that's when everyone's available just to you know get the character and the movement in our body because we were going to be performing in front of 100 to 200 live people right and that is intimidating and after extensive character building we finally went ahead with movements a lot of movements were again solos that we created for ourselves and from our solos she created choreographies there have been days we've slept there in the night because we had to do a lot of decoration and that would take you know the evening it has been quite a journey so our production had the entire story of how we are losing ourselves in today's day and age not realizing who we really are and trying to find for an alternative place not just within our head but also within uh, the earth that we live in and that was the concept that came in together after a lot of hard work a lot of blood and bruises and fractures and sprains and i'm not going to go ahead you get the idea finally came the day we were supposed to perform for one day but uh, the seats got filled up so soon that we had to perform twice which is a saturday and a sunday and we had different audience for both because there was limited seating we would all form a circle and we would meditate and she would like hug every one of us and uh, that was everything like okay now we've got this i can't justify it in words so i'm just going to show you Don't you think so? Okay, how dare every single one of you come here and take away the 
other place in India now? Hmm. The other place. The other place is a happy place now. That is all I wanted to share for today's video. Just an experience that has meant the world to me and something that I will carry along with me for the rest of my life. Uh, I hope you liked this video and I hope that I kind of gave you a little nudge to go to that class that scares you, to go take up that little skill that you think you might not be very good at because you will be surprised that with a little bit of training and a little bit of willpower, the things that you can achieve. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, the subscribe button right down there. Please subscribe to my channel. It will help me make more videos and knowing that these videos are well received. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.